What's going on, you guys? Cuddy from Cuddy TV. We are back at it again. This is my first podcast back since 82 Seconds with Cuddy. If you haven't, go listen to my first podcast, 82 Seconds with Cuddy. I give out some advice. We talk about the news, and then we talk a little bit about what I was going through during that time. So definitely check that out. But this is a new podcast called Still Trapping Legally. Now, this podcast was really inspired to teach the youth on different ways on how they can make money legally without needing to have a job. So it's a lot of different ways for you to make money. And there's definitely a lot of different ways for you to make money legally. So make sure you're listening every single episode and make sure you come back for every single episode as we will be giving you a whole bunch of different ways for you to make money legally. And this whole podcast is sponsored by Studio View, an app that will allow musicians to book studio time anywhere in the country directly from their phone. Make sure you follow them on Instagram at Studio View app. That's Studio View A-P-P. Make sure you follow them on Instagram and click the link in their bio to get early access if you're a music artist or studio owner. All right, guys. So welcome to episode one of the Still Trapping Legally podcast. Now, you already know why we made this podcast. We made this podcast for you guys to learn more ways on how to make money legally. And that's what we're going to be teaching you with every single episode. But this is episode one. So we're here to talk about stocks today. That's what episode one is covering. I'm going to give you guys my top five stocks that you should be buying today, holding on to forever so you can retire early. Definitely, you want to make sure you stay tuned until the end of the episode to hear those but we're just going to start from the top and then work our way down so let's keep everything simple let's start with what are stocks i mean you know people get so scared when they hear the word stocks and investing inside of the stock market and you know you can lose your money and then stock market crash and there's so many things that are put up when you hear the word stocks but realistically stocks is just companies way of getting access to capital from the public really so in short you're a part owner of the company because you're giving them money to invest in their company so you're a shareholder now that's literally it you're giving another company money and you're saying look you can take this money and invest it and if it makes me more money i'm going to pull it out But if you pay me on an annually, quarterly, or annual basis, then I will keep my money in here. That's all stocks are. So I just wanted to break that down and make it real simple. So if anybody who was scared about stocks or just didn't know about it, that's literally all it is. You're giving a company money so that they can invest. And then in return, they're either going to give you more than what you invested or they're going to pay you on a monthly quarterly or annual rate. So with that being said, that sounds pretty good now, right? Stocks don't seem as bad. Like, okay, so you're going to pay me to have me keep my money with you so you can use it to become a bigger company. That's what you're telling me that you're going to pay me for. So I don't have to do literally anything besides just give you money. This sounds a little too good to be true. So let's get into what I'm talking about today. So Now, this podcast was made for you, so I do want to put this message out there. You know you only have to be 18 years old to invest inside of the stock market. So everything that you're about to listen to, if you're older and you know somebody younger who can make a change in their life or needs to make a change in their life or just needs something to do, you should maybe give them this episode so they can learn about the stock market so that they can just start at least investing their money and getting interested in something else besides whatever they're doing right now. So just wanted to put that out there. Uh, If you're older and you're listening to this, you know, send this to somebody who is at the age of 18 or about to get there so that they can learn about investing inside of the stock market. Now, the stock market can seem very, very confusing. I know that. This podcast is going to simplify the type of stocks that are out there inside of the stock market so that you know exactly what you're looking for. So I got about four different kinds. There's penny stocks, which is basically you're buying a company when it's first starting and you're hoping that they're going to boom. That's the easiest way to simplify what a penny stock is. Then you got your growth stocks. Growth stocks are companies that you see are growing and you know that they're going to have a promising future. So you want to get in early so you can reap the benefits later. That's what a growth stock is. Then you have your option stocks. To me, this is like the day trading of the stock market. Option stocks, you're basically guessing that a stock is either going to go up or a stock is either going to go down. And if you are right, they will pay you. That's what that is. Then you have your dividend stocks. This is what I like to call early retirement. These are the safest investments for you to have. These are the investments that 
you're literally putting your money in and they're paying you either monthly, quarterly, or annually every single time. So those are the four different kinds of stocks though. Just to kind of make it simple for you, because again, the stock market can get very confusing. It can get very scary, but that's all you're looking at. You're looking at either penny stocks, growth stocks, options, or dividend stocks. Don't make investing inside of the stock market more complicated than it already has to be. So now that you know the four different kind of stocks, go out there, do some research and see which option is the best for you. I've seen a lot of people get rich off of penny stocks. I've seen a lot of people get in early for Apple and now they're reaping the benefits. And there's also the wise man, Warren Buffett, who is a dividend master and a dividend king who also lives off of dividends now and promotes that you should be buying dividend stocks so you'll never have to work ever again. And then there's a lot of option traders out there who do day trading who make a whole lot of money. So you just have to go into what you're looking for. What is your goal with investing? Are you looking to retire? Are you looking to make some quick money? Are you really looking to invest inside of a company because you solely believe in their vision and their purpose? Or do you know that this company that's just starting is about to pop off and you want to get in early to make some profit off of it? Those are the four different questions that you're asking yourself. Those are the four only answers that you need when you're picking your stocks. And that's how you'll know what stock to invest in and how you want to move forward with your stock investing career. So let's just get into it, okay? Because I know everybody's probably asking, so why should I be interested in investing in stocks? What is that going to do for me, Cuddy? You just got to know that stocks are probably the only income that you don't really need too much experience in. You do your research, you buy your stock, and then you put an end goal on it and you invest and now your money is working for you. That's one of the best leisures and the best awards that come with investing inside of the stock market is that you don't really have to be a professional to be winning inside of the stock market. You just have to know your four questions and know those four answers and look at that stock and see which one it falls under. And then, you know, just set a realistic end goal. Like, okay, am I looking to hold this stock for 10 years because it's a dividend stock? Am I looking to hold this stock until it goes up an extra $100? Is this stock going to go from 15 cents to 35 cents? Or the options, I'm not really that much of an option trader, but you would basically go in there and say, okay, this stock is going to go from $94 to $95. And I want to put a $500 bet on that. So that's like the best way to break down options. So that's the beauty on why you should be interested in the stock market, because I literally just broke down the whole stock market for you in four questions. And I know that you're physically smart enough to understand those four questions that I just asked you. So now you can go in there and ask yourself those four questions when you're looking at the stock market and get the answer that you're looking for. So that's all the stock market is. And that's why you should be interested in it. It's another stream of income that is taking your money and making it work for you. And realistically, to become a millionaire, you need seven different kinds of income. So while you may be working a good job or might have a good side hustle going on or whatever you do, you need to have multiple streams of income. And this is just another option for it that will guaranteed build you success, wealth, and the financial freedom that you're looking for if you're disciplined and invest early. Now, it's okay if you don't want to, after you're done listening to this episode, turn into a full-time stock investor and, you know, take your life savings and put it into the stock market. That's completely okay. But I definitely think that you should start taking some money that you spend on, you know, normal things like going out to eat, maybe turning up for the weekend, maybe buying those new shoes, anything that you spend money on that you necessarily don't need. Think about putting a quarter of that into the stock market and seeing what it does for you. I think that's the best way I always tell people to start is not to invest anything that you'll miss, but invest some money that's not really anything to you. So $20 at a time, $50 at a time. I think that people use movies like The Wolf of Wall Street and think, oh, well, stocks are a scam. You know, I'm going to lose all my money. But if you're only putting up money that you don't really care to lose, are you realistically losing money in the end? Really? No, because you could lose money in a laundry machine. You could keep $100 in a jacket and then somebody takes that jacket. You could, you know, buy a new computer and it could break the next day. That's money lost. So I think taking spare money that you wouldn't miss and putting it into the stock market is the best way to start. 
And it's the easiest way. So you can start filling out the stock market and seeing what stocks you want to invest in, what stocks that you like, what stocks are giving you something that you are happy with result-wise. So, so I'm just saying, start with some spare change. You can download literally the Acorns app. They take spare change off of every dollar that you spend and put it into another account. You can set a goal for that account. Once that account hits a certain goal, you can transfer that into either Webull or Robinhood or any other TD Ameritrade, whichever investing platform you want to use. And you can start there. So literally, you're not risking anything besides some pennies that was taken away from you a long time ago that you forgot about that are now sitting inside of this account that you can use to invest in. So that's just a golden idea for me. It's just a way for you to start inside of the stock market at a small rate and not really risk anything that you're worried about losing. If you're worried about losing a couple of pennies, then you're not ready to be a millionaire. Now, I want to start with the best kind of stocks to invest in. I would say ETFs. Literally, let me describe what an ETF is for you in the most simplest way. An ETF is one big stock that holds a bunch of little stocks that are doing really good. And then if one stock doesn't do really good, that one stock gets taken out and replaced with another stock that's doing really good. So that this ETF can continue growing at a 5 to 8% return rate. So that's all the ETF is. I know people try to make it more complicated than it is, but I literally just broke down to you what an ETF is. One big stock with a bunch of little stocks in it that are doing good, progressing good, doing something that the ETF is evolved around. And that's the most safest investment that you can make. Now, granted, it would be the smallest return. Obviously, 5 to 8% is going to take you a little while to be seeing much big returns that you're looking for, but it's literally the safest investment that you can make. The first ETF that I say that you invest in is VOO. It's one of the most popular ETFs. It holds a lot of different kind of stocks that we're familiar with today. Stocks including Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, JP Morgan, like JP Morgan Chase. If nobody knows what JP Morgan is, that's the Chase Bank. That's their real name on the stock exchange. So All of those companies that I just read to you are all probably companies that you either use today, that you admire, that you love. So I think one big stock that holds all of those stocks together in one stock is a pretty promising stock, right? So if you put your money into that and they told you, hey, look, I'm going to give you 5 to 8% at the end of every year of anything that you put in here. I mean, that sounds like a good investment to me. I'm sorry. That's the best way I can put it. So ETFs, VOO, that is my first suggestion for you guys. Just to get you into the stock market, it's real safe. Again, you can start with $5, $10, $20. You can put in any amount that you want, but just know that your money is now working for you, and that's the main purpose of investing. Investing is getting your money to make more money for you later. And again, you don't need to put your rent payment inside of the stock market. You don't need to put your life savings inside of the stock market. But you can put that maybe dinner for two this week into the stock market and see what it gets you next week. So that's all I'm saying for you guys. There is no set amount needed to start investing. You can start with $10, $100, $5. You can even, again, use the Acorns app to take your spare change from every dollar Just don't make any more excuses in 2022 on why you're not investing for a brighter future because it doesn't take a lot of money. It takes all of the money that you want to put up and all of the money that you're risking to lose, which we spend money that we lose every single day on a daily basis anyway. So it'd be good to take some of that money and at least have some of it work for us to bring us a brighter tomorrow. So now that we're here, I'm going to go into my own personal goals. So Investing in the stock market is a a very beneficial way to retire early, honestly. So I ran a couple of numbers and with the stock portfolio that I already have, I hold about 45 different stocks, 45 different stocks that do 45 different things, honestly. But the one thing that is consistent inside of my portfolio is that almost 90% of my portfolio is dividend stocks. That's right. So about 40 of those stocks are all bought just because they're dividend stocks, not because they're growth stocks or I believe they're going to do something amazing in the future. They're stocks that pay me either every month, every three months or yearly just for me to continue to put money into their company, which to me is a good offset. I mean, 
I spend money on things every single day, buying a new pair of sneakers, putting gas in my car, going out to eat. So I figured a good trade-off is me giving you money and you giving me more inside of the future. So with all of the stocks that I have inside of my portfolio, all I would need is $2 million invested to make six figures for the rest of my life without ever moving a muscle. Could you imagine making six figures every single year just because you spent your whole life putting money into other companies and allowing them to invest it inside of their own company and they pay you for the rest of your life and you literally didn't have to do anything but take those little one-offs that you want that maybe I want to buy this pair of sneakers today. No, I'm not going to buy a pair of sneakers today. I'm going to go buy some dividend stocks. I want to go out and go buy that McDonald's. I'm not going to go buy that McDonald's. I'm going to go put more money into my dividend stocks. The more that my portfolio grows, the more I get paid on a monthly, quarterly, yearly basis. And that makes me happy. It makes me happy to know that I'm putting money inside of a company and they're setting up my future to be bright. And to not only to be bright, but to be earning six figures a year without ever doing anything. Most people don't touch six figures in a lifetime. All I have to do is invest $2 million into my current portfolio, and I'll be making that for the rest of my life. To have that kind of knowledge puts a different mindset when you're spending your money, because you look at money differently. You look at, okay, this iPhone 13 is $1,300, but... I wonder what $1,300 could do inside of my dividend portfolio. I wonder how much I'd be getting paid monthly. Because realistically, we're going to spend this money anyway. In my lifetime, I'm probably going to spend way more than $2 million. So I hope within all of the spending I'm doing, I can put aside $2 million. So when you have big dreams and big aspirations, it almost gears you up to know, like, you know, this is a plan that I have. And This is going to set me up for the rest of my life. And I need to take this serious now. It's almost like going to your favorite college. You know, it's like you'll do everything in high school to make sure you have the right grades, to make sure that you did the right thing so that that school accepts you. So do the same thing with your dividend portfolio. Every time that you go out to eat, every time that you get a new deposit inside of your account, think, well, what can I take out of this to put inside of my portfolio that will help me reach my retirement goal? What is your retirement goal? Do you want to make six figures a year? Maybe you just want to make $60,000 a year. How much would it take inside of a dividend portfolio for you to make $60,000 a year? And then once you know that number, every time you go spend money, you're going to be thinking about that number inside of your head. Like the more that I spend on nothing, the less I'm taking away from this number, which means the more I'm going to be working because I don't have this number, which means I can't retire early. I'm telling you, learning about dividend stocks, what you can do inside of the stock market will change the way that you spend your money because you'll see that your money can work for you and you can make way more money in the future than what you're spending now. Whatever you're buying today, you could buy three, four times if you put it into the stock market and let it sit there and do its job. So I don't think I need to convince you guys anymore. I think you have thought about it and you said, He does make a good point there. I mean, I do buy a couple of things that I eventually don't use or want. And that money, I always think like I could have spent that better. And now that I know about the stock market and what a dividend stock is and how they can pay me monthly, quarterly or annually, I think I might want to go pick up a couple of those so I can set up for this financial freedom and retirement early. So I actually have a gift for you guys. So I'm going to be giving you five stocks that you can buy today, hold forever and retire early guaranteed. All right, you guys. So this is my exclusive list of my top five picks of stocks that you can buy now, buy today. You can buy these today. Okay. Buy them today. Hold on forever. Don't never sell these stocks. Never, ever, ever, ever in your life should you ever think about ever selling these stocks and you will retire early guaranteed. So make sure you put more money into these stocks so you can retire early. So my top five list begins with VOO. Again, this is one of the safest investments on this list. It will make you money guaranteed. This is an ETF with some of the biggest companies that are making some of the biggest moves inside of their stock. They pay you every three months 
And the more money you put in now, I promise the more money that you'll see later. So all you have to do is go look up VOO on Google or wherever you feel comfortable at and look at what they do, what they have inside of their ETF and see if that's the right investment for you to make. But for my first pick, I'm going with VOO, an ETF. So now that I gave you my first pick, I have to give you my second pick. This is one of my most favorite stocks. I have owned this stock for a very, very long time and actually it was one of the first dividend stocks that I bought. So my second choice on this list is ExxonMobil. The ticker name is XOM. If you ask me, look, gas isn't going anywhere. ExxonMobil owns a lot of different kind of gas stations. And as long as cars are on the road, there must be gas to go inside of them. And I believe that before everybody goes electric, everybody's going to need to get some gas for their car. So this is a company that will never go out of business because it's something that is in demand and is one of the biggest chains inside of the whole country. So this is a dividend stock. They do pay every three months. And the more money that you put in, the more money you will get out. So for this stock, I don't think you need to go on Google and look it up. Um, I think if you drive on a normal daily basis and you see an Exxon Mobil gas station, you got to know that somebody owns that stock and they're getting paid by everybody over there pumping their gas. That's all I'm going to say for you. If that didn't convince you enough, then the next time you drive past an Exxon Mobil, you're going to remember this, I promise. So my second choice is Exxon Mobil, ticker name XOM. Now, the third pick that I have for you guys is actually a late pickup for me. I didn't pick this stock up until this year, actually, because I didn't know that they owned so many products that we use to this day, and it blew my mind. So the third pick that I have for you guys is a stock, and it's called Procter & Gamble, ticker name PG. So what is Procter & Gamble? You guys are probably like, I've never heard of them a day in my life. Cuddy, why would I buy inside of that company? So let me tell you what Procter & Gamble is. So if you don't know Duracell batteries, that's Procter & Gamble. You know that Dawn soap that you use? That's Procter & Gamble. You know that Gain laundry detergent that you buy? That's Procter & Gamble. You know those bounty paper towels that you be using? Guess what? Those, Procter & Gamble. You know that Crest toothpaste that you be using? That's Procter & Gamble. You know them diapers, them pampers that you be buying? That's Procter & Gamble. You know them Iams dog food? That's all Procter and Gamble. So Procter and Gamble owns all of those companies and so many more companies that we use on a daily basis. I didn't even know that they own all of these companies. So Procter and Gamble is definitely a solid pick because again, the world's always going to be using paper towels. The world's always going to be using Dawn. The world's always going to be cleaning their car. The world's always going to be changing their diapers. These are things that will never, ever stop. So the day that people stop cleaning their houses and taking care of themselves is probably the day that Procter & Gamble is going to go out of business. So that would take 7 billion people to make that decision together. We can't even get 1,000 people to make the same decision together. You expect 7 billion people to make the same decision together? That's what you think? That's not going to happen. So Procter & Gamble is definitely a solid pick for me. They're not going out of business. They own a lot of other companies that we use on a daily basis. And I guarantee if you put money into them now, you're going to see a lot more money inside of your account later. So Procter & Gamble, ticker name PG, they are a stock. PG is also a stock that pays every three months. So that's all of the information on that. Let's get into my fourth pick. Again, to me, another solid pick. This company has been around for years. The quality of their content and their products are just amazing. They've been known for reliability and everybody around the world, as long as the world keeps moving on, is going to keep buying this product. Toyota. That's right. I said it. Toyota is a company for you to buy hold now and never sell because their cars are known for reliability. I live in Los Angeles. There's a Camry every other three cars. If you look out into the world when you're driving on the highway, notice how many Toyotas are on the road. Toyota has been known time, year, decade after decade for their reliability and being number one for like safety and things of that nature. So Toyota is a very good brand, and Toyota also owns Lexus and Porsche. 
So those are all two other brands that are, again, known for reliability and known for being around. Everybody drives a Lexus or everybody who can afford a Lexus will drive a Lexus. And everybody definitely who can afford a Porsche is definitely driving a Porsche. So I definitely feel good putting my money into Toyota. Toyota is another dividend stock and they pay every three months. So ticker name TM, company name Toyota, your status should be buying now as I'm listening to this podcast. So Toyota is going in as my fourth pick and my top five picks that you should buy now, hold forever, and retire early. And then we have to talk about the last pick on this list. So the last pick on this list was very hard for me, but I definitely believe in the vision. I love every time I go to one of their outlets. It always looks up to scale. It always looks up to date. It definitely makes me happy to be there. I've personally shopped here in a bunch of different states, so I've been to a couple of their outlets. And the last ticker that I have for you guys is Simon Property Group, ticker name SPG. If you don't know what SPG is or Simon Property Group, it's those outlets with all of the little stores in it that have all of the discounts. You've probably been there. I know you have. That's what SPG is. They own every, well, not every single one, but most of those outlets that you see that are put together to have the, you know, they have the Polo, the Nike, the Armani Exchange, all of them little stores, the Lululemons, the Victoria's Secrets, and the Tommy Hill figures, all of those stores inside of an outlet. Most of those are ran by Simon Property Group. If you ever look at the sign and you see Simon, that's a Simon Property Group real estate commercial area, basically. So they hold one of the biggest outlets in the world, honestly. In every single different state, they have an outlet open that has multiple stores that are doing very good inside of them. So since I personally have shopped inside of their one of their outlets, I know that they have their outlets in New Jersey. I know they have their outlets in Vegas. I know they have their outlets in LA. That was enough for me to say, this is my top five pick because I know forever people are always going to want to go shopping. People are always going to want deals. People are always going to want to spend less than more than what they have to. And outlet malls are never going to go out of style ever, especially the Simon ones because they keep them very well kept. They pick good stores. Um, the stores always have good deals. So I much definitely believe in Simon Property Group as they hold some of the biggest outlets inside of the world. And I think everybody's been to one. So if you've been to an outlet mall in your area, you've probably been to a Simon one. And if it looked nice, then that's the company you should be investing in because you're shopping there currently right now. So that's what you should be doing. So for number five, we're ending this out with SPG Simon Property Group. They are, again, a dividend stock and they pay every three months. All right, guys, I've given you five personal stocks that I've invested in myself. I've been invested in for years and I'm going to keep putting money into these companies for the next years on the way. So I definitely think that if you need anywhere to start, you can start with those top five picks and they will give you the guarantee results that you're looking for and make you happy on your investing journey when you're investing inside of the stock market. So this has been the first episode of the Still Trapping Legally podcast. I broke down what stocks are for you today in the most simplest terms I can. There's only four different kinds of stocks. Don't let nobody try to plug your hand in with all this mumbo jumbo. There's four different kinds of stocks. It's either a penny stock, a growth stock, an option stock, or a dividend stock. And you look at the person, you say, now which one of these is it? Now you tell me. And that's the only way I'm going to invest. If it fits my portfolio, I will add it in there, okay? So that's the simplest way for you to break down the stock markets. I gave you five picks that you can buy now, hold forever, and retire early. I hope that you take advantage of them. Look, man, stocks are a way for you to build another stream of income. If you build it up now, you won't be working later. Guaranteed. It's a trap for all of us. You know what I mean? Picking the best stocks, making sure that our companies are doing good. We're all still trapping legally. I want you guys to join us, man. Make sure you pay your taxes. Definitely. Make sure you pay your taxes. And come collect the money that's waiting for you, man, because we're all over here trapping legally and we love it. I personally have been in the stock market since 2017, and I'm personally mad at myself for not starting earlier because I probably could have had a bigger portfolio and been making bigger payments than what I get now. So I definitely advise you to join us 
in the stock markets. Episode two is going to be on the way. I'm going to be talking about cryptocurrency. Y'all know I love my crypto. So I'm going to be giving you guys some picks on crypto. I'm going to be giving you guys some more news on it. And just stay around for the next episode that's coming. We have so many more that's on the way. And I thank all of you for being here for episode one. I definitely want to shout out my sponsor one last time, Studio View. It is the app that will allow musicians to book studio time anywhere in the country directly from their phone. So it's definitely an app for you to check out if you're an artist or a studio owner. It is coming early 2022. If you would like to get early access to it, make sure you click the link inside of their bio at Studio View app and you'll be able to sign up for early access. But if you're listening to this after the app is out, then that's where you'll be able to find the app. So go click the link in their bio and go check them out. So episode one of the Still Trapping Legally podcast. I hope I taught you something about the stock market. I hope that you want to take that money that you're looking at inside of your account now and at least put a quarter of it into the stock market and start buying some of them top five picks that I told you today on this episode. I can't wait to see you for episode two. So be blessed and know that we are all still trapping legally. Still trapping legally. Still trapping legally.